Um, cool. Well, yeah. <clears throat> that's about it. That was, uh, yeah. that was painless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Josh Jensen. I'm an independent filmmaker and I also shoot uh, corporate videos by day for a major financial institution. Making indie films, uh, it's, I got started in it out of necessity. It's, it's just kind of the nature of things, especially in Canada, where there, there is government funding, but it's, it's, not, it's not the same sort of atmosphere as the, as the US, for example. Everything is fairly indie. It's sort of indie by default. So what kind of got me started, and I, I'd, been, I'd moved to Toronto about 10 years ago, and I started doing work on, I did some work on some shorts and some features, on some commercials, very, very different roles from production management to um, script supervising to just grip, all that kind of stuff. And then a friend of mine that I had worked with some years ago um, had an opportunity from Rogers Television of all places to put together a film. They wanted a, a documentary on something to do with music. We ended up deciding that the Rogers route was going to be a bit stifling and we ended up taking that concept and just kind of doing our own thing and that turned into a movie called The Scene, uh, an exploration of music in Toronto. So that was our indie feature documentary that we did and uh, yeah, we took that on the road and, and that's sort of where that kind of got started. Yeah, so I would say an independent film now is something that is accessible to anyone. You can pull out your phone and make a movie. And filmmakers, well-known, established, household name filmmakers have caught on to that as well. Steven Soderbergh is making movies on iPhones now. That's how he's decided this is, this is the new indie filmmaking. He started out you know, 20, 30 years ago as sort of a maverick of indie filmmaking, low budget, and now he's like, uh, that, that's just that's my brand and so what, what does that mean now it's iPhones it's streaming um, so to me that that's that's really what it is now. well I think some changes are happening as we speak um, so here in Toronto Netflix is going to be opening a studio and they're going to be funding a lot of new Canada based productions so I would like to see there, this, we're at a point, I think, in the history of film where the old guard is fighting the new. And you know, there's in the news recently that Steven Spielberg is trying to put a damper on Netflix being able to submit films for Oscar consideration after Roma did so well this year. Um, but I, I, I don't. I think he's fighting an uphill battle there because I think ultimately what's going to happen is is there's going to be a push towards more content, not less, and I think what what really is going to happen is you're going to see a lot more niche content. So it's not just going to be genre films, it's going to be sub-genre films. And I think you're going to see a lot more um, funding, particularly from the big streamers like Netflix and Amazon, even YouTube, who are going to be putting money behind sort of sub-genre films aimed at very particular niches, because that's what they do. They, they're great at gathering information finding out who likes what sort of content and then delivering that content. So I think that's the kind of thing they're going to be funding and pushing going forward. <clears throat> yeah, well, I think, I think the future of indie film is, is, I mean, it's also the present, but it's online. It's certainly, I think, um, you saw recently on Netflix, the, the, the most recent Black Mirror was an interactive film. I think there's going to be a, you know, it's kind of an old idea made new again, the choose your own adventure. But I think with the, te the technology is in place now where you can now have a, and it, it fits so perfectly with sort of the nature of the on living online is you can have your own customized, personalized film experience. And I think that you're going to see a lot more of that approach happening because it's, it's, it's a lot easier than ever to produce a film on, with no money, and if you have money, then you can produce you know a hundred different endings, and so everyone can find the conclusion or the closure that they want. And I think I think that's more than likely you're going to see a lot more interactivity in film. <laughs>